Hello guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel Desi Astro, PhD in Physics, Astronomy and Astrophysics interview series. Myself, Jyoti Prakash. I am currently a second year PhD student at Inter University Center for Astronomy and Astrophysics, Pune. Started working in field of galaxies evolution and dynamics. I would like to share my RRI, Raman Research Institute Bangalore PhD interview experience in astronomy and astrophysics and question asked in the interview. Which might be helpful for other students. Who are futuristic to join Raman Research Institute at Bangalore in PhD physics program. You can also watch my previous PhD interview video on IISC, IIA Bangalore, IIT Madras, IIT Bombay, RR Cat Indoor, IOCA Pune, IIS ER Pune, PhD interview experiences and question asked during the interview. Link has given in the video description. Raman Research Institute at Bangalore is very good research institute where cutting-edge research is going with state-of-art technologies and facilities in almost all area of physics, astronomy, and astrophysics. I appeared particularly for interview in astronomy and astrophysics area. My interview went for around 30 to 45 minutes, and interview was unscheduled online via Zoom meeting. In my interview panel, there were around 4 to 5 professors. When, I joined the interview, they asked me to introduce myself and they asked me the area of astronomy and astrophysics I want to work. Whether, I want to work in theoretical or observational astronomy. I said that, I prefer observational astronomy. Then they inquired my MSc projects and other internships. That I did. They asked my why I want to pursue PhD in astronomy and astrophysics if you are an engineer in electrical and electronics. I told that I am very keen to do astrophysics by mistake I landed in field of engineering. Then they asked me about subjects of interest, I told them subjects like classical mechanics, quantum mechanics, electromagnetic theory, mathematical physics are intersetting to me. After that, they start bombarding questions on me from different areas of physics and the questions were followings from my projects, and basic physics. What is black body radiation? Draw curve for temperature T1 greater than T2. Mark the peak with respect to wavelength. A black body at room temperature, find its peak wavelength. Plot graph of x plus 1 by x and x log, x. Show that a cylinder has area pi r square h. Now this time they ask me question from my Aries Nanital projects. What is reddening? What is reddening law? How to calculate extinction between B and V band? How to estimate galaxy distance using variable stars? How reddening affect extragalactic distance estimation? Which is more responsible for reddening? Scattering or absorption? How light intensity varies in a medium? Give the equation. Derive equation of final intensity in medium of thickness x. If flux from an area depends upon number density n of sources and solar luminosity and inversely proportional to square of distance. Find luminosity ratio from two different area. If two bulbs of power 40 watt and 60 watt are connected in series with 220 volt. Which bulb will glow more? If two bulbs of power 40 watt and 60 watt are connected in parallel with 220 volt, which bulb will glow more? What is an application of uncertainty principle? Obtained ground state energy of quantum harmonic oscillator using this principle. This was the end of my interview. In conclusion, the interview at RRI Bangalore was a very pleasant experience for me too. Professors were quite helpful during the interview. They gave me some insight when I stuck in answering. And they are quite happy with my style to tackle questions. I hope it has helped you to gain some insight into the question asked in PhD interview at RRI and how to prepare for that. Good luck, if you are planning for any such interview. Some of the things you can keep in mind while giving interviews are. First. Don't give bluff answers to any questions. Second. If you don't know the answer to any question just say. Sir I don't know. You may ask the next question. 
Sometimes they ask very difficult questions just to check you how you're proceeding on that questions they don't want you to answer exactly. Third, please be ready to face your MSc project and other internship if you have done. They definitely asks question from your projects. Thanks and good luck for your future endeavor. And don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel Desi Astro. And please press the bell icon to get instant notification. My YouTube channel also teaches you basic of Python programming, Python for astronomy and astrophysics. Soon, I will be starting to teach physics. Stay tuned for more interview experiences from my friend also.